we'd been shot with BBs. You and we shot with yeah, BBs? and we decided that it would have been it, they've been in there for so long that it would have done more harm to try to remove them. Um, he doesn't have any type of lead poisoning, and we're just really monitoring that for the rest of his life. Hi guys, you can tell I'm not at Parrot Playhouse right now, but I'm at the Shore Sanctuary with Ashley, Hi. Alex, and Ryan. So they've invited me today to tour the sanctuary, see what they Our do. Home. I've been stalking them on Instagram because that's what I do. They might need a restraining order. <laughs> I love what they're doing here. So I wanted to come out. Ashley and I, we've been talking to each other back and forth like six months now. Yeah, it's been about six months. So I feel like I already know you. I, I know, like when I got here, I felt like, yeah. It was like, hey, nice to see yes. you. Yes. Yeah. So I'm excited to be here. So we're gonna take a tour, see everything that they do. They've been working really hard out here. And I come really, on, come I really, join really us. yeah, I really come want you guys us. to get to see them and get to know them all these melons we've got some amazing supporters who love to see the melon smash oh my goodness we're gonna so. actually see a water melon smash this is gonna be so fun we cover this because joby will joby get up here and get into it that's joby look <laughs> oh they know Goodness. I can't believe this. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> Martel oh loves watermelon. Look! This duck is like. I don't even know where to begin. This is so oh, neat. Go... I've never seen a watermelon smash. The turkeys, look at look at Joby. Everybody's happy. Um, if it's like really hot, we'll do it daily. Wow. If we have donated watermelons. So everybody, if you've got watermelons to donate to the Shore Sanctuary. Bring them on down, we'll bring, smash them for you. Bring them on down. He had been shot with BBs. You and been we shot with yeah, babies? and we decided that it would have been it, they've been in there for so long that it would have done more harm to try to remove them. Um, he doesn't have any type of lead poisoning, and we're just really monitoring that for the rest of his life. But um, yeah, he had several BBs on him. Oh so not only God. was he the victim of pinioning, he um, pe people also shot at him. It's just horrible. I remember him getting laser and everything. Yep. Yeah, those knees are incredibly knobby. I always tell people that I feel like he looks like Danny DeVito when he walks. <laughs> You're okay, buddy. I know. I know. It's okay, boo -boo. When you get a bird or a, an animal of some kind, they see the vet first? Right away. Yeah. Right away. So we try to make sure that they... I mean, I'm very lucky. I have my vets out all the time, so it's not usually a problem. But we like to have all new residents seen within one week of arriving to the sanctuary. We, we primarily only house male um, waterfowl here. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that are really discarded because they don't produce eggs. Um, they're deemed troublemakers. So oftentimes people will dump them at local lakes and domesticated ducks cannot fly. So it becomes a real problem, um, not only for them, but also for the native birds, the wildlife, because they start to mate with them, which causes problems. And they also start they, they bring in different viruses and diseases, so it, it just becomes a huge problem. But wow. we have a lot of different areas that we quarantine. So this is one where we would do intermediate. So after they were done with um, like biohazard type of quarantine, they would come into a little spot during the day where they have, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So just like parrots, these guys have to be quarantined. Oh gosh, yeah. Like <gasps> you know Chewy, right? Chewy, yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. What see, this is wonderful. Oh, hold on a second. See?
see how she has the aviary enclosed so hawks can't come in? How great is that? That is so smart. And, and fully on the top and everything, fully. even though it has a roof. It's just wow. really important that, that is so you wonderful. always keep that safety. Yep. Look, has a little fan. This is a wonderful aviary. So this is Chewy that was at Animal Alliance, you guys. And Ashley was fostering. Hi, Chewy. Hi, Chewy. Hi. 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 She was fostering and then think? they connected. What do you think? Do you have a yellow feather on your neck? Yes, he does. Does Isn't he that have beautiful? yellow feather? That's his fire feather. Oh my god. That's why I say that he's got a little fire in him because yeah, that one yellow does. feather. Isn't oh my, he beautiful? Yes. Chewy, I'm so happy for you. I love you. I love Congratulations you. on being adopted. He's a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. Isn't that amazing? Oh, you're such a good boy. So he was relinquished to animal control. Yes. So he was at the shelter and then Animal Alliance pulled him and then Ashley, they, she decided to foster him so Animal Alliance could have um, some more room and then magic happened and she adopted him. Isn't that amazing how it happens? Look at his water. Look at everything in here, you guys. This he is likes to bathe in that one right there. Absolutely. Here. And then that's his water that he drinks out of over there. He's very particular on what he likes. Are you? He's very particular. Oh my gosh, I love And he this likes aviary. his fresh herbs. He gets a basil, mint. Oh, yes, He's really into herbs. that. He gets them every Friday, so these ones aren't as, as lovely. But every Friday, we call it Flower Friday. Flower Friday? Okay, so now I need to do all this to my aviaries. <laughs> wow. You're so happy, aren't you, Bubba? Yeah. Ooh, you're so happy. Oh, Ashley, thank you for taking such good care of him. Oh, he's my best friend. You guys have a lot going on. I mean, not only do you do parrot rescue, you're, you have parrots that are being fostered. Yes. You're doing chickens, geese, pigs, and now sheep. Possibly, yeah. So that would be the if hope. We could eventually. get that barn built. Yeah, that would be the hope eventually. Or an emu. Maybe, maybe that would be a great place for an emu, guys. Oh how, how much do you need to raise? I would say we probably need to raise about seven hundred. We've got about a thousand dollars right now towards that barn, and we need about seven hundred. Um, uh, about that um right now wood is really expensive so that's oh that's God. kind of the hurdle right now talk about with the parrot toys it has gone yes. way up yes so you just need 700 more and you can start building and then we can start getting our yep our yard so it would be oh, um look, a, look at this over here something similar to this and then it would have a kind of like this around it and so that is whose house that's Hedwig that's Hedwig which so is a little big for Hedwig he has his own house I Joby! <laughs> oh my goodness, Joby! Oh, she's so naughty. Joby, give me that. Wow. I was actually told Alex we should put a little stall in there and separate it, but he said Hedwig needs that space. They they kind of just go above and beyond here, don't, don't you guys? They they deserve it. We don't deserve them. We yeah. do not deserve them. Oh. We really don't. <laughs> It, it's an absolute honor to but have these rocks. animals. These rocks would be great for wow. a sheep or a goat. That's what yes, I was thinking. So they, that's the vision. That was the, the kind of the vision. And we've got this great sloped area and you know, we're dreamers over here. And Perfect. So now if people want to donate, yeah. this this sanctuary is amazing, you guys. I, I, I give it a thumbs it's up. All, honestly, it's all a community effort. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do any of this without our community, our supporters. You guys are the real heroes. You're our heroes. <laughs> you it's, make this possible. It's flock power. It's flock power. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So now if they want to donate, where can they go to? Yeah, great question. So if you want to donate, um, you can find us on Finmo um, at The Shore Sanctuary. Um, we're on PayPal, theshoresanctuary at gmail.com. Uh, you can find all of those links in our Instagram bio, um, Facebook. You can find us all over those places. We're currently working on a website. We don't have that up yet, but we do have Venmo and we do have PayPal. So I'll have the link for everything in the description. Thank you, April. You're welcome. I am in a... 
ball tent with a pig with Cheryl Lee. <laughs> Next episode at the Shore Sanctuary, I meet my hero, Cherry, who is basically the Victoria Cockatoo out of pigs. She is a fighter. I, I get really excited because I've never really got to touch a pig like this or feed a pig and I kind of go into shock and I think I stopped breathing for a second and then I think like I almost fainted because I got really excited and then and happy and then she started to eat my camera so you'll just have to <laughs> see the next episode and yes there are plenty of rescue parrots coming up sharing is caring don't forget to share this video and donate if you can they take such good care of their residents at the Shore Sanctuary. All right, you guys, we love you. Remember, flock power. Bye.